What's up guys, how's it going? Mike Visuals here and welcome to this Adobe tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be showcasing the new Premiere Pro update to speed ramping. It's such a game changer. They've changed it to 20,000%. So no more nesting your sequences over and over again. You can just speed ramp how you want and you don't have to go into all these nesting sequences which complicate a lot of things. So in this video, we're gonna be going through a cinematic piece I shot in my vlog and it uses the new speed ramping tool. So let's dive straight in. All right, let's jump straight into this tutorial. So I've taken the cinematic sequence from my vlog and I've imported it into Premiere Pro 2020. So as we're going through the first transition, you can see I've got a shot of Georgia with a nice mask as we go past the beam. This then leads on to a lake shot with loads of boats and the movement is panning to the left. So we want to use the speed ramping technique to make a fast paced cut between the beam and the boats. So we're gonna be using the speed ramping tool, which is an awesome feature. So right click your clip and click on show clip keyframes and then go to time remapping and click speed. Click P on your keyboard and this will bring up the pen tool. Let's zoom in a bit. So we're gonna click at the very start of the clip. This is where we wanna start the speed ramp. When you click on it, you'll bring up two little icons, which are blue. These are your in and out points. As we want the speed ramping to start at the beginning, we're gonna click on the far left hand side before the blue icon. And then we're gonna click up and this will bring up a percentage showing the speed of your speed ramp. And as mentioned, the new Premiere Pro update allows you to go to 20,000%, which is crazy. So we're gonna bump this right up, just adjust it slightly. And we wanna get a good gradient on this. So when we do the transition from the beam to the boats, it's quite fast. So the other icon on the far right is your out point. This is where your speed ramping effect stops. So drag that wherever you want. I'm gonna put it around here. And as soon as the timeline goes over that point, the speed ramping effect will stop. It will go back to 100%. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, on to the next clip. So speed ramping is all about following the movement. So I've got left to right, I've got pushing in shots, I've got pushing out shots. It's all about matching up these features. All right, we're gonna quickly just do a speed ramping effect at the end of the shot as well, just to emphasize the movement of the shot. Okay, time to bring in the other clip to match this shot. So we've got an awesome shot of Georgia walking near the lake and while shooting this i had the idea of panning away from georgia but still keeping her in the center of the shot so in later in post i knew that i could speed ramp out of that and then go into an epic drone shot so like i said before matching the movement this movement pans out of georgia so the next shot will be a drone shot panning out so i quickly wanted to speed ramp in so i'm going to put my in and out points and bump up the speed ramping to around 2,300. Okay, time for the out point. This is where the new feature will really shine because before I would have to just nest so many sequences and it would get really messy. So we're gonna put the out point all the way when I'm far away from Georgia and we're gonna bump this right up to around 5,200. And just play back that and yeah, that looks amazing. So that really emphasizes the movement I was going for. So as I mentioned, this shot will now match a drone shot panning out to really emphasize the movement I was going for. It's crucial to match your movements. So I'm just gonna place the drone shot here, show click keyframes, time remapping, speed. All right, P, time to choose my in and out points. And I wanna match the speed as well. As you can see, the gradient is quite extreme on the shot of Georgia. So I'm gonna try matching that with the drone shot, just to make sure the movement and the speed are very similar. And doing the same at the end of the clip, I wanna make a nice drastic outro. Another quick tip, always make sure all of your filming is really smooth when using gimbals, drone shots. It will make your speed ramping so much better. Okay, time for the last shot. This is my favorite shot of Georgia. Low down to the ground using the gimbal and we're just gonna pass through her and then I wanna speed ramp 
past her going into a drone shop. That looks pretty good. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna do an out point, but we're gonna have to bump it up quite a lot to emphasize that movement. So I'm gonna bump it up to around 6,000, which is just crazy. It's so awesome that you can now do this. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, time to match the drone shot. So as mentioned before, we wanna make sure the gradient is quite similar. So I'm gonna bump up the drone shot speed ramp to around, to around 2,000. And as you can see, the movement really works well, pushing past Georgia, and then it goes on to the same type of movement on the drone shot. And the tutorial is done. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. Definitely check out the new update to Premiere Pro 2020. It has a bunch of other awesome features and especially that speed ramping tool. So I guess I'll see you in the next one.